Other headlines now. It was a chaotic scene on the east side after police say a man hit several people while trying to flee officers. And witnesses tonight tell CBS2 Good Samaritans helped to stop that driver before police took him into custody. CBS2's Naveen Daliwal live at the scene right now with the latest. Naveen. Yeah, Maurice, it started with a stolen car and a calm police chase that ended here at 42nd and Lexington and injured 10 people. Rush hour was not to blame as traffic crawled after a crash at the corner of Lexington and 42nd. That was right there. Carlos Cabrera was at work cleaning the streets when he saw a cop car following a vehicle. I see the red car, the police behind. He speed past the bus, hit the... The, the yellow cab. Police say it started with this maroon Hyundai reportedly stolen Monday. They say a license plate reader spotted it at 45th and 2nd Avenue around 5.30 Tuesday evening. The officers turned on their turret lights and attempted to stop the vehicle. Initially, the vehicle started to pull over and the officers continued to follow at a low rate of speed. Seconds later, that car took off, making its way to Lexington and hitting a bicyclist and a yellow cab at the corner of 42nd. Cabrera saw it happen. And then from the yellow cab, when he hit him, he gained the sidewalk and hit the people who was on the street. Police say several people were hit on the sidewalk and the driver of the stolen car wasn't done. The vehicle proceeded to mount the sidewalk, striking several pedestrians, making a U-turn within the intersection of 42nd Street and Lexington Avenue and proceeding to drive the wrong way on Lexington Avenue. The suspect finally hit this black Toyota and took off. Witnesses watched as Good Samaritans caught up with this man who was later arrested. Ten people were injured, thankfully all of them with non-life-threatening injuries. The most severe being um, an ankle fracture to a young lady and the others were just minor abrasions and uh, neck and back pain. And police say the driver of that stolen car is 20 years old. He did not have a New York State driver's license. And right now, charges against him are pending. We're live in Midtown, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. Okay, Naveen, thank you. And as Naveen just mentioned, police say that stolen vehicle was a Hyundai. A recent CBS 2 investigation found that Hyundais and Kias are among the most vulnerable to theft in the city. And to see that complete report and how the NYPD is trying to crack down, head over to CBSNewYork.com.